Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog. This lesson is dividing fractions. So this is almost as easy as multiplying fractions, just one little twist. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, two numbers whose products are one are called reciprocals. And I'm thinking, or you're thinking anyways, what, what's all this fancy word? Well, remember, product is uh, multiply. So two numbers, when you multiply them, they're, re uh, they're reciprocals. Uh, they're equal to one. Reciprocal just means like if you have a fraction, you flip it upside down and that's a reciprocal. So to write a reciprocal, then we write the number as a fraction. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a whole number. So you put it over one and you change it to a fraction. Sorry for whispering. Anyways, and then you invert or flip the fraction, okay? So the reciprocal of x over y is y over x. Now remember, that sticky little thing that you can't have zero in the denominator right there because that zero is like a zero like a ball under and this is a table and it won't hold up that number when zero's on the bottom you can't do that and the math police will come and arrest you i know it's dumb but it's dumb enough so i can remember i don't know why this is moving around I, well i just didn't catch it until it was too late I have this little small window to make this recording, so you're going to see this kind of jump around a little bit. I apologize. So, so the product of a, a non-zero number, that just means any number that's not zero, and its reciprocal is always one. So here's an example right here. See, there it goes. So 4 over 5 times its reciprocal, 5 over 4, that equals 1 because the 4s will cancel and the 5s will cancel. Sorry, it's going to do that again. So they cancel to 1s, um, uh, this 4 and this 4 four cancel this five and this five cancel and so their product is one right there and that's just called the the multiplicative inverse and we'll talk more about that uh, property um, in chapter seven i think so that's called the multiplicative inverse property so when you multiply two numbers and their product is one um, it's called the multiplicative inverse and zero does not have a reciprocal um, zero over one is zero but 1 over 0 falls over. It doesn't work. So 0 is the only number that doesn't have a reciprocal, the only whole number or integer anyways. Um, okay, so here's some original numbers right here. So we're going to write these as a fraction. And these two are already written as a fraction right there. So they're just 3 fifths and 9 fifths. And then uh, 2, we'll write that as 2 over 1. Anything can be represented as 2 over 1. So the reciprocal of 3 fifths is going to be, we're going to just flip it. So it's going to be 5 over 3, 5 thirds. And do you see how the 3 goes down here and the 5 goes up here? That just means a reciprocal. So to check, we're just going to multiply those. And do those equal 1? Yeah, those cancel, those cancel, they equal 1. Okay, so the reciprocal of 9 fifths is 5 ninths, and the product is 1. The reciprocal of 2 over 1 is 1 over 2, and the product of 2 over 1 and 1 over 2 is 1. Okay, that's all that they wanted you to do there. All right, so um, here's some key ideas. And so this is different than what your book suggests, but this is another corny one that lets me remember this, you guys, how to divide. So to divide fractions, you keep the first fraction the same. And then you flip the second fraction, and then you change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And why do I like saying it like that? Because of these first letters, KFC. Does that ring a bell? Keep, flip, change. So the K stands for keep the first fra fraction, flip the second fraction, and change to a multiply. So here we have two fractions we're dividing. So we'll keep this fraction, we'll flip this fraction, and change that to a division. So here's the K. Okay, here's the F for flip and then change. There's the change. And then go ahead and multiply across. 1 times 4, 5 times 3, and we get uh, 4 fifteenths. Okay, so it's just as easy as the last lesson, and except with that one little twist, the KFC twist. Okay, so here, let's go keep, flip, change. There's the K, there's the F, there's the change right there. And then we'll go ahead and um, uh, multiply across. So when we multiply across, yes, we could have canceled. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, we could have canceled this 3 and this 6, but let's just multiply across right here. So 3 times 1, 6 times uh, 2, so we get 3 twelfths. And then, uh, and then, so 3 12. So when we divide 3 divided by 3 is 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we get 1 fourth. Okay, let's go back to this right here. We can cancel, we can divide these guys by 3. 3 goes into this uh, once, 3 goes into this. 
two times, and then we're just left with one times one over two times two. One times one is one, two times two is four. You get the same answer at the end right there. Okay, all right, let's see. So here we go, we got an application problem. So a piece of wood is three feet long, like a yardstick, you guys. That's a piece of wood that's exactly three feet long. How many three-fourths foot pieces can be cut into the piece of wood? Okay, well, there's a couple of ways we can do it. The first way is to make a diagram. Just make a, I'm gonna make a, a long board right here and then cut it up into three pieces. So three feet, one feet, two feet, three feet. All right, and then we're gonna, since we're doing three-fourths pieces, let's divide, take this one foot and divide it up into fourths and divide this up into fourths and divide this up into fourths. So I'll do this one first. So let's just cut it right in half. So now it's in two equal pieces. And then we'll cut this guy in half right there and then cut this guy in half right there. There's four equal pieces. So we did four equal pieces. Let's do it with this one. So I'll cut it in half and then I'll just cut this in half and cut this in half, okay? And then let's do that last one. So there they are. There's my three feet and each uh, foot is cut up into one fourth sections, okay? And then the other thing is we would just, how many three fourths foot pieces? So let's count off three fourths. So here's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So there's one three fourths piece. One-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourth. So here's another three-fourth piece right there. How many can we do? One-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths, okay? And look, one more. One-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths. How many three-fourths pieces are there? One, two, three, four. There's four of them, okay? So the answer is going to be uh, we can cut four three-fourths foot pieces from a, that piece of wood. Okay, the other way is to just do what we just did. We can divide three by three-fourths to find the number of three-fourths pieces. So three divided by three-fourths. Let's change this to a fraction, three over one. And then I went ahead and... Uh, you know, we kept that as 3 over 1, flipped uh, this fraction. This fraction was 3 fourths, so it's 4 thirds. And then we changed that. Okay, let's go ahead and cross cancel right there. Those 3's cancel. Now we can just multiply across. 1 times 4, 1 times 1, and we get uh, 4 over 1 or 4. So the same answer. We can cut 4 3 fourths pieces from the piece of wood right there. All right. About this, okay. Well, first thing we got to do is change this to a fraction, make it two over one. So there that is, and then we'll keep flip change, okay? KFC, okay. So we flip the second guy and change it to a multiplication and kept the first fraction. All right, I think I'm gonna go, I think I am gonna go ahead and cross cancel. Yeah, two divided by two is one, two goes into four twice. So we divided these guys by two, and then we're left with two times one over five times one. And uh, uh, two times one is two, five times one is five. So the final answer is two fifths. Okay, all right, hope you're comfortable with this. Okay, here we got to do order of operations. So in order of operations, uh, we got to think of PEMDAS. So are there any parentheses? No. Are there uh, any exponents? I don't see any exponents. Are there any multiplier divide? Yes, we got to do this piece first. So I'm going to change 5 to 5 over 1 and then flip it, okay? So 5 over 1, I, whoops, I forgot to put the 1 underneath there. That's okay, but 5 over 1, when I flip it, is 1 over 5, and I change the division to a multiplication. Everything else stayed the same. I kept this fraction. I'm, I'm not doing this till the very end because addition comes towards the end after we multiply and divide. So we're going to focus on this little piece right here. We're going to multiply uh, the 5 over 6 times 1 over 5. Notice these 5s can cancel. 5 goes into 5 once on both of those. So now we're left with 1 times 1 over 6 times 1 right there. Okay, and we get 1 sixth right there. All right, now we can add these fractions. But when we add fractions, we got to make sure these denominators are the same. So you could think of, I think your book chose to do 48 because they both go into 48, but there's a smaller number, the least common denominator uh, between eight and six is we just, here, here's an easy way. Just start listing multiples of the bigger number. Here's eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, or you could go, here's eight and then eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24, plus eight is 32. I could keep going and go 40, 48, I can keep going. But let's see if we can get one with six. 
6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4. Hey, look, they both have a common multiple of 24. So let's go ahead and change this to 24 and this to 24. So to do that, we're going to multiply each fraction times 1. But um, what's the 1 going to be? Okay, well, 8 goes into 24 3 times. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 1, but it's going to be 3 over 3. 6 goes into 24 4 times. So we'll multiply this one by 1, but it will be 4 over 4. Okay, so it's just that this is 1, this is 1. So then here we're going to get 24 downstairs and get 24 on this one downstairs. So 3 times 3 is 9 over 24. 1 times 4 is 4 over 24. So now we have a common denominator. And we can now go ahead and add the numerators. Okay, 9 plus 4 is 13. So the final answer is 13 over 24. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And hey, be good to your teachers and take care.